The scene of Conan's search for Salsa Doom's mountain of power contains the director's first criticism of hippie culture. Conan rides towards them through a field of flowers and they themselves are wearing flowers or waving flowers. The narrator also tells us that they request Conan to throw down his sword and to return to the earth. All of these are characteristics or stereotypes associated with the hippie movement, which was concerned with peace, the natural environment, and during the summer of love they were wearing or giving flowers away to people they met on the road. It is a critique because Doom's followers are portrayed as mindless sheep who will follow any of his orders, misguided by promises of in paradise. And as far as I know, John Milius is a great proponent of individualism and an opponent of collectivism. And he inserts these views by contrasting Conan's victorious journey towards self-determination with the failure of the identity-absorbing hive mind of Doom's followers. When Conan decides to infiltrate the mountain of power, we get some more references to hippies. The remarks of the priest who Conan knocks out to steal his clothes are a hint towards the principles of free and open love. He also asks Conan how he wants to achieve emptiness if he fosters in inhibitions like being ashamed of undressing himself before others. Another nudge is when he meets the priestess who asks him what he sees in the well, and she is pleased with him when he answers that he sees infinity. Infinity and emptiness are concepts that are related to a higher state of consciousness, like being in tune with the universe around you and the rejection of a dominant authority in your life. But the concepts are too broad to carry a specific meaning and the scene is probably meant to showcase how easily members of such movements can be tricked into believing anything if you know the right words to impress them. There is more criticism ahead in the movie which we will then come back to. It is interesting to note that Conan doesn't take a sword with him when he decides to infiltrate Salsa Doom and his followers, but he probably doesn't need it since he only wants to assess the situation. This however leads to his capture, torture and intended execution. But before he is left to die, he is brought before Salsa Doom, who in his speech introduces him to the second layer of the Riddle of Steel, thereby crushing his belief that power resides in steel. That is strength, boy. That is power. The strength and power of flesh. What is steel compared to the hand that wields it? Since Conan doesn't contradict what Doom tells him, we can assume that he realizes that he, and subsequently his father, were wrong about the riddle of steel, and that Salsa Doom knows the truth, or is at least closer to it.